Okay, this video we're going to talk about truth table and we're going to construct a truth table based on conjunction, disjunction or sometimes you know combination with three letters. This means we're going to have a lot of meat on it actually. So three letters, variables or three statements or three events. So if it is three events, we all of us know if you have checked out earlier videos, we know three events is going to give us how many option? Three events is going to give us at least eight cases clearly okay at least eight cases now what are the eight cases let me show you the eight cases here okay so eight cases is going to be just like that okay so these are the eight cases here okay now if i look into here and this one this is the face actually is given all this is basically question a concern here we are going to construct a truth table based on this well there may might not be a space here I just create a space for my own convenience and also they might not give you all these base we have to come up with that actually so three letters eight cases four true four false two true two false true true false false and two false true false true false true false i want to actually mention something you can start with 4F and 4 true also, uh, upside down also, it doesn't matter, but this is okay, you can do this way, okay? Now, you might not have all those column and, you know, uh, column and rows, you just have to create your own convenience because it's going to have less mistake, it's going to be more organized if you have a column, column and rows, and also this one, you have to be very careful how to use the rows and columns for this one you are intending to find out so I'll look at this here so <clears throat> we are being asked to you know to find out P conjunction Q and R so what is the truth table for this one so we always go with the parentheses It's very basic math we go with the parentheses PEMDAS please excuse my dear and Sally so parentheses we do in inter in you know, well, I'm sorry conjunction here in this case or and in this case so well what are we going to work out what are we going to compare with this phi and q so this is a phi and q so we're going to compare these two so once we compare these two remember this is and means if both of them are true is happening simultaneously then it is true otherwise it is going to be false so clearly true true well by now you know it's going to be what true true is going to be true and also true true we're comparing phi and q so it's going to be also true and true false look is basically it's not going to it ain't happen here so it's going to be a false here one of them are false is going to be false in order to both has to happen at the same time intersection so this is called conjunction okay or end so now there is a false so guess what it's going to be false 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 obviously then the last one is going to be false too so that's what we did first find this one you know what i'm going to actually have a little more organization organized here so i'm going to put down my step one so that would be my step one and i'm going to do i'm going to say this is going to be my step two so that would be my step two so i'm going to find r if it is negation r we just negate all of them but we are lucky we don't have a negation r it's just r so you know what i'm going to just rewrite whatever r is here so i'm going to rewrite everything here okay so let's rewrite everything here so it's clearly you see true false true false true false true false clearly I just wrote this column right here with the same. Now we have one and two. Now we're going to compare these two to get this. This is going to be our answer column. It's very important we understand this. This is going to be the answer column. Okay. So, well, this time we are doing conjunction still. So, if both of them are true, it's going to be true. Otherwise, it's going to be false. So, clearly, I see there is only one is true here. Only one is true, clearly and this is obviously is going to be false this is going to be false this is going to be false that is going to be false this is going to be false this is going to be false so as the last one is going to be false also so clearly 
that one is our answer column and this is what we are interested by the way we are not interested on those let me actually make sure we understand this one here we are not interested on this one or not this one we are interested on only this is step three you want to name it step three and that is going to be our answer column this is what we are looking for that is what we are looking for so that one is the, our answer in this case okay so let's move into the next one so what is the next one next one is basically same thing but this time you have disjunction or and conjunction so you have a both of them actually so again you just put i just put down the neuro new column here based on you know i just have a space so i can put down the truth value here and also this two is going to come one truth value of, I, you know i just put that down here okay <clears throat> well if this is negation we, i would open up another column here but this is not negation so i'm fine okay so first thing we do inside a parenthesis that's always true so this is going to be my first one here so i'm going to put down that is my step one and obviously this is going to be my step two and that is going to be my answer column step three okay so once i have those clearly right once i have those i'm going to compare q and r this time by the way this time we are comparing these two actually we are comparing these two so q and r we're comparing these two that is going to give us so in other word q intersect r we already know how to do that actually q intersect r is going to be if it is true both of them true is going to be true so that is what actually we have to come up with okay so this is going to be true clearly okay and this is going to be we compare this so it's going to be false that is going to be also false that is going to be also false that is going to be also true why because both of them are true here okay and that is going to be false here and that is going to be false so as this one is going to be false so i have this column here now this is first step second step we write the fee column so i'm going to rewrite the fee column here okay so this is going to be true 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 again false 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 okay good now we are trying to get the answer column here you go that is the one we are looking for so this is what we are interested on actually okay this is the answer column we call it answer column so well this time is or if anyone is true the statement is going to be true okay i do this or i do that if one i am doing correct that means if one is happening that means the statement is true so so in this case true true is going to be true true false is true why is true because this is true and this is going to be true okay and that is going to be also true now this is going to be also true and that is not going to happen because both of them are false so as this one is false so as this one is false so that is our answer column here okay so i can put down this is going to be my answer column here that is the answer column yep you go down here that is the answer column thank you very much